Este episodio está patrocinado por nuestros compas de Casa Humilde Cervecería. Cerveza artesanal, elaborada aquí en Chicago, with a variety of 10 different styles to choose from. Casa Humilde is located at the District Brew Yards, 417 North Ashland in Chicago. Follow them on IG and like them on Facebook at Casa Humilde Cervecería. To check availability near you, go to www.casahumildechicago.com and check out the store locator. You could also pick up some chelas at the District Brew Yards. Casa Humilde Cervecería. Stay humilde. Este episodio está patrocinado por Tequila Tres Generaciones. At Tres Generaciones, we honor those driven to create something greater than themselves, those who have what it takes to leave a legacy. It's a tequila for the strivers, the hustlers, the champions of free will who create their destiny and don't await it. El proceso es único. It begins with fresh pressing agave, extrayendo el jugo antes que lo cocinen, resulting in reduced bitterness and a crisp agave forward flavor. Todo el tequila is triple distilled using 100% Blue Weber agaves. Con el tequila blanco, con el tequila reposado, it's certified organic. Aquí en el Wack Pod, cuando hacemos un brindis, it has to be tequila tres generaciones. Celebrate responsibly. 40% alcohol by volume. Copyright 2021 Salsa Tequila Import Company. Chicago, Illinois. This Wack Pod episode is brought to you by Borja's Law Group. El abogado Borjas contestará todas tus preguntas, explicará el proceso específico de inmigración que aplica en su caso, el tiempo que se toma procesar su caso y los costos asociados con las tarifas de inmigración y los honorarios legales. Llama al 312-788-2783 para programar tu cita. Y ahí de pasada, menciona el WACPAR para que te den tu consulta gratis. This episode is brought to you by Taquerías a Totonilco. Con más de 40 años de experiencia, hoy por hoy de los mejores tacos al pastor en todo Chicago y suburbios. Al igual con los tacos de asada, ni más ni menos. Sus famosas tortas y para terminar con ganas, un rico licuado. Les encargamos sus tres locales, 3916 al oeste de la 26 en Chicago, 500 East Cass Street en Joliet y 1631 al norte de la Mannheim Road en Stone Park. Para más información, visite www.taqueriasatotonilco.com. This episode is brought to you by Rancho Los Guzman. Hands down, one of the most beautiful rancho-style venues there is in the Chicagoland area. They offer all the necessary services so that your next event is unforgettable. From weddings, quinceañeras, VIP private events, and holiday corporate events. Relax and enjoy while they take care of every single detail. Book your next event at Rancho Los Guzman, 2225 Maple Road in Joliet. For more information, call 815-200-4713 or check out their website at rancholosguzman.com. Buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Su compa Carlos Rodríguez. What's up, everybody? Yo soy Jesse El Grandote. What's good? What's good, your boy Fry from Fry El Guy Designs. Yes, sir. We first want to thank you guys for uh, staying in touch with us the whole season. This is our season-ending episode. Para toda la gente que sigue viéndonos en YouTube, listening on Spotify, on Apple Podcast, we want to say thank you for a great season. To our sponsors, we'll name them, and then you're going to see them on the digital, on the bottom part of our digital banners once you guys see it on YouTube. Y más que nada, hoy queremos darle un, una, este, ¿cómo se dice? Este, felicitar a, al, al buen Jesse el Grandote. Yeah. Special shout out. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank que you. Que acaba de you. entrar al cuarto piso. El cuarto piso. Today is your birthday. Today, man. today we're recording the walk pod. So, so that means that tomorrow you're going to be sore as shit already. Probably. I got a lot of <laughs> That's the way that 40 shit works, man. I, I got some, like, icy hot. Patches at the house ready wow. to go. Everything bro, hurts. So. Yeah. Everything Ahorita, hurts. pues ya, ya me dieron, en vez de paquetes de botellas or something, you know how they do gift baskets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got like Tylenol. Bengay. Like, Bengay. 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 Casa Humilde is doing beer in bags now, like so I can go. <laughs> like oh, powdered like, beer. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Just add water. <laughs> Just add water. No, we, we do want to send, but la gente que se viendo aquí están viendo esas two bags. Um, they're, by the time, hopefully this episode comes out, it'll be out 
on their uh, website. They got the Casa Milde coffee. Yes. So big Yo. shout out to uh, Los Hermanos Lopez who keep on on doing new things. Man. They have yeah. these little the, holes in the bag and you can just smell like it's just holes? amazing. Like, yeah. What holes? Little holes. No, no, no. no. Oh, Ollitos. Oh, 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 Not my like, high school, remember. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Where the holes at? <laughs> Goodbye, so happy birthday. Thank you, brother. Happy birthday, thank Jess. You. Happy I you, birthday. Thank you. I hope thank you. you. Oh, thank yeah. you, everybody, everybody. Muchísimas gracias. It's, uh, we came out from a little bit. Everybody, you know what? Shut, shut, shut. <laughs> it's funny, just, 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 it's funny like because a, a, a lot of our friends, uh, one of my friends called me earlier today. Este, un saludo muy especial para toda la gente que me habló. We had the odds against us in the neighborhood, in Little Village. Este, we, we grew up, and honestly, you know, you know, me esperaba vivir... Pasando los 25 años. Oh, wow. Oh, so, well, there you, you go. know, so we, we, the, uh, we beat the odds. Y oh, aquí yeah. estamos successful with the walk pot. Because you were gangbanging or something? Or? Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> and you have, you have a great white beard to go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Wait, thank what, you. High, what high school did you, did you go to? Curie Condors, baby. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Shout out to everybody at Curie High School. All right. <laughs> Lame. Hey, bro, pues hoy vamos a cerrar temporada con broche de oro. Yes. Este, we're, we've been very excited for this episode. Um, and uh, we kind of, in a way, I kind of purposely scheduled it to be at the end so we can uh, close out the great season that we had today. Um, yo yo this tengo season. un disclaimer bien grandote para Dale. toda la gente. Y me quiero disculpar de toda la gente que está viendo, que está escuchando en todas las uh, redes sociales. Esta conversación <laughs> va a tener muchas, muchas, muchas. Frases que voy a empezar cuando estaba en la radio. Oh, here I don't goes. know what that means. I don't know what that oh, you'll means. Know. Yeah, no, you'll, you'll know. know. Oh, you'll know. Oh, you'll know. So, without further ado, hay que darle la muy buena bienvenida a our guest for today uh, on our last episode of season four. We are very, very happy and honored to have you here with us today. Oh, thank you very much. Amarisol thank you. Terrazas. Thank you. Now, it's Marisol it's Terraza, pero, pero it's uh, parte de los horóscopos, or can we say los horóscopos? You can say or... whatever you want. Okay, all right. <laughs> you can say whatever okay. you want. Okay, vimos la prensa, o a little este, release that horóscopos was done. Yes, oh. Spanish Jesse or just, English. Jesse just, just, just got into it. Dove into it. <laughs> Jesse is Spanish like, or English? It's it Spanish. Is. Whatever you're comfortable with. You know what? Yes, it. Well, thank you for le letting me be the, the, you know, the one that yeah. closes this. I, I like, I like closing closes, shit. <laughs> <laughs> closing shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, especially people that went to Kiri and Kennedy. <laughs> ah, and yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hey, she's a Southsider, though. South I'm a Southsider. Yes. You know, I grew up, well, when I was 15, I moved two blocks away from your, you know. From where we're here at AMG, here. yeah. And then I moved, well, I grew up as, you know, a baby, you know, until 15. God, that was a long time ago. And 60, <laughs> God damn, like 60 and then Costner, that's where, you know, I actually grew up, you know, and um, okay. so this is this is my barrio. And then I yeah. got married two blocks away. I'm watching you, I'm watching you. Yeah. And a hey, Catholic mira. church, I went to um, grandma's That was around there. here, right? Yeah, St. Mary Star of the Sea, right yeah. there. Yeah. So yeah. there was a lot oh, of rumors right that, that when, when you guys were growing up, a lot why, of people... Why you got to mess things up? No, no, no. Yo quería que mucha, mucha yeah. gente decía that you guys grew up in Little Village, that you guys grew up on like uh, 26th and I want to say Drake or... No, you know what? My tía Catalina, which is my dad's sister, uh -huh. she lived there. But I grew up on 60th and Costner. Okay. And then I went to Pastor kindergarten to third grade oh, fourth to eighth i went to saint mary's and then i went to lords so back back nice. in the day so, you I know got, lords you know i know lords, lords. You know lords. <laughs> if anybody knows you, you know you know what you, know. you don't know I'm, I'm confusing it with maria high school you remember maria oh, high school I, remember, oh. I think they closed right? yeah they closed down that's the one at 55th oh. isn't it? that's like it's california by, by holy oh, cross okay. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah yeah but lords lord, how you know oh. how you know i know i know i know it's because okay for anybody doesn't know this they were all girl high schools yeah yeah so all the boys my dad's like mija tu vas a ir a una secundaria puras mujeres porque no quiero que estén niños ahí but he didn't know that all the boys were outside waiting <laughs> half a day you know full day doesn't matter they were all there from every damn school St. Lawrence They're Kennedy waiting. Curie waiting. Uh, Bogan that's like everywhere a, that's you know. like a buffet table like yeah, I was yeah. come <laughs> is, that, is Lord Zone that was on 55th then yeah. yes it was ah, now okay. it's um, I Hancock. think it's, it's no Hancock. now Hancock just moved 
Hancock really? Bridge is moved. Yeah, now Hancock. they made it on 65th. It's oh, a huge wow. school. Man. Wow. Yeah, really big. Yeah. It's God a college damn. prep high school now. College Hancock, prep, yeah. yeah. God damn. Holy but okay, that's shit. Lourdes. I know where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Lourdes is cool. I like that. Well, it's it. actually pretty like cool that, that you're a South Sider. Porque aquí en entonces, este, well, this area was, was really up and coming. Mm -hmm. Latino back then, right? You know what? Okay, when we grew up on 60th and Costner, there was only two Mexicanos on that block. It was mm -hmm. Opolacos. My first best friend se llamaba Teresa Talaga, which go. was Polish. She yeah. lived a block away, you know, and there no había Mexicanos except for my primos that would come and visit me, you know. And saludos a mi prima Laura and Claudia and Leo and all them, you know. Saludos Leo used to be the sax player. Yes, you know? of yeah, of course, Leo. They were like always my clica and still uh, till this day. And um, so we were the only Mexicans and, you know, but we weren't loud. My dad wasn't loud. Huh. You know, like, and you guys I'm are from loud. Durango. And we're from, I'm loud. That's, that's like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then, you know, my mom passed away and then my dad bought a house two blocks away from here. Okay. Four blocks away from Costner to here. Why? I don't fucking know. But it makes no sense. But he did it. So we lived there. So from 15 till I left the house, 19, that's, this has been my barrio all the time. And then I wow. bought a house, my first home, I bought on... Um, holy sh! On Keeler, sixty first and Keeler was my first home. Okay, so that was the first home I bought. Wow. So I've always been here, and now, now I, I'm a suburb. I'm a suburb mom. <laughs> suburban, 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 suburban mom. Suburban mom. I just need a fucking minivan now. <laughs> <laughs> With all the little kids in the back. Looking at me. I only have one kid though. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> just one. It's just just standing there, thought men like <laughs> <laughs> and with two dogs. Well, one of my dogs died not too long ago. Uh, so now I still have Remy, which is 18. I don't know if this is going fuera del... No, 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 no. There, there it's, no, it's this no. Caso Milde, Cantarito, hard <laughs> seltzer, grapefruit, <laughs> lime and, seltzer, and salt. It'll make you siempre vomit la, everything. Siempre les culpan. Siempre <laughs> le echan la culpa a cada los you compas de Caso Milde. If, you, if, you, if, I, if I tell you where's the happiest moments that I lived, it was in this in this area. That's awesome. yes. in this neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. She actually forgot to mention she's a grandma. She just mentioned. Grandma. I am a grandma. Yes, I'm a grandma. I have two grandkids. Awesome. And um. That's where the minivan comes yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. No, I <laughs> don't. But I, I do not have a fucking minivan. <laughs> so then people ask me, "Qué es tu favorito tiempo, Marisol? Abuelear. And you know what? I just posted a video since my grandson. I think well, all grandparents think their kids are you know marvelous and. You know, the talented. cutest and everything, yeah. So then we have Juliancito, which his dad is also a musician. And then Lechuga, Lechuga was playing the drums. I was playing the accordion, and he's playing las congas. And then, and then another song, he's playing el huido, and he has rhythm. So I put it on my Instagram. I just put it today because we were doing that last night. So then that's our pasatiempo that, you know, not, I wouldn't do that with my daughter. I'd be like, go, girl, go, go, go. I don't have time for this shit. You know? But now it's so different, you know. Whenever you guys have a time, whenever it's your time to be a grandparent, it's the most amazing time. It's it's so fulfilling. So it's an like up and coming uh, Jackson Five type of no, story. Yeah, no, I don't know about that shit. <laughs> I don't know if I live to you know how you said twenty six. I don't know if I live to like sixty five. So I don't know. I'm just enjoying this moment right now. That's awesome. And being yeah. that uh, coinciding with the fact that you're saying your happiest moments were yes. around this area, yes. would it be kind of the same thing? I know Lechuga has always brought it up as far as like, uh, I mean, we know you've done the tour live. We've know that you've done the 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 pack stadiums. But would you consider like? When you were local, um, how happy was that moment as far as in comparing to the, the big platforms? Okay, I'm going to say something that me voy a ver como medio malagradecida, but this is exactly how I feel. That's how I feel, yeah. When I was local here in Chicago, that it was Noah Noah, that it was Oke okay Corral, mm -hmm. that it was... Um, the bull on the side. Oh, okay Corral. And even if you do like, like San Pio, <laughs> is that, like, is that, uh, that time? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there was another one on, it wasn't San P, it was another. It was on 18th, it was um, La Providencia. La Providencia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh, I remember shit. there was big, I'm talking about big, big groups still in their moment, still, and we will still pack our shit and they would be not, oh, yeah. not doing too well. Yep. Wow. And I remember, you know, like, in Presidio's big ones that I'm still friends with them. They've known me since I was a little kid, so they're like, Mira, como, como es posible? Mm -hmm. si es posible? You know? I wonder who you're trying to imitate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, um, you know, and, and, it, and it's, you know what, I felt, I felt like a fucking superstar here in Chicago, you yeah. know. When I would go to Noah Noah, they would let me park wherever and come in <laughs> and come out really tore up. And But I wouldn't drink that much at that time. I started drinking later in my life, in my early life. People won't believe this shit, but I started drinking like from 25. When Duranguense started hitting, Casino Tropical too was a oh, huge yeah, place. Yeah. I would oh, go yeah. to the bar and give people like drinks. 
que se pila, tú eres la dueña aquí en Amaya. <risa> José Cruz de la Torre en paz descanse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, usted, tú di rana y yo brinco en la pila, rana, I swear to God, and he jump. Yeah. Wow. So then um, it was it was really awesome and yeah I did all the other stuff you know with horoscopes which I'm very grateful but when I talk about Noah Noah the other day that I mentioned and my husband's like because I went to go see him in a mansion my husband is cantante de Cumbre Norteña yep. and then I went to go see him the other day and, but then I passed by Noah Noah and I'm like you know that look you know like <laughs> and I'm like it's, it's, it's really nice I mean other places you know sometimes you can't park there and they're like no sé por qué hay horoscopos no sé por qué porque está otro grupo están whatever big group you know oh no pueden traer un traguito. No tiene que pagar. No, hell wow. no. They would be drinking water. It's, you know what, Chicago just, it was, it was amazing. It yeah. was a really good time. Era una buena cuna. In, I used to know Nitro. I, I, no, no, it's Nitro. 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 Yeah. That was Holy Nitro. Holy shit, that was it was nice. Nitro too. Yeah. Yeah. Thursday night. Yes, sir. Uh, you Thursday know what? Night. I never went to it. Oh. But I knew. <laughs> you I knew. knew. It was, yeah. yeah. So we're talking about cuando, cuando empezaste Your, your dad was the one who had the band Los Horoscopos, right? Yes, he started so, 1975. That's wow. what I was going to ask. Yeah. So, I wasn't born yet. Really? Yes, I'm fucking old, but I'm, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> no, but so when, don't when, try doing the math, bro. No, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, yeah. no you do can do the math. math. It doesn't matter, but I wasn't born yet. But yeah, my dad started the group, you know. He was playing like hardcore, dirty-ass cantinas. He has up stories, and I've heard people, Oiga, su papá, toca en mi cantina. He's like... When did you uh, pick up an instrument? Or, or te, te dio la, la, el interés de la música? Okay, so then, for some reason or another, I would see my dad and I thought he was really cool. I, you know what? I still do. And I would be like, oh my God, I want to be like him. I want to play the sax. I want to play the keyboard. Because my dad would grab the sax. He was a, a Mac daddy, you know. He, like, <laughs> he wasn't very good sometimes. He, had a, he had a pose. Like, yes. Get some swag, man. He, he played the do part. Do you know who my, my primo Pedro Celis is? <laughs> Pedrito oh, yeah, Celis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kind of has that look. Because Pedrito's dad and my dad son primos hermanos. Oh, so okay. they look okay. very, they What look Peter? alike a lot. Oh, right? yeah, shout out to like Peter. Pedro. So they have like this like look and I'm like, oh God, that's my dad right there. Holy shit. So then <laughs> when I was around five or six, my dad took me, you know, like a teacher. She was a hot teacher. She would come every Wednesday. I fucking hated it. My dad loved it. He was like, you know, and I would play classical music. Okay. So then I would learn how to, you know, I learned how to read and all that shit. And then when I was nine, I started playing here in St. Mary's Star of the Sea, two blocks away, saxophone and band. So that's how I started. And then I, my first song is El Novio Despuntado. Nice. <laughs> so at nine years old, I was in every, I was in Roscoe Durango, official integrante, playing four or five hours, you know, el teclado only. And nomás El Novio Despuntado y este... China de los Ojos Negros, only those two songs in the At sax. At nine years old. At nine. So I would play oh, like, shit. you know, the Lollar, you know, and I would play like todas las cumbias and toda la tercera. So, because I would, I was already playing, you know. So then, when time passes by, um, you know, generations, you know, like, it, it, just the group evolved. So then, our accordion player, which was our cousin, my primo Pancho, he left and he played the accordion. So then my dad's like, tienes que prenderte el acordeón. <laughs> the teclado, and I'm like, what the fuck? Because, you know, he would play botón. So then I did. Mm. So then my primo Leo and I would play, because in ese tiempo estaba Rieleros, Polo, really strong, you know, and all that, you know, all those. All Martino the bangers. Groups. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So we started playing all that stuff, porque en las boas en las quinceañeras, you know, all the private the rest, parties, they asked for it, so you had to, you play, you know, you cater to everybody. So yeah, then we started playing that. So then, um, I don't know, that's how it started happening in Duranguense was, I don't want to talk shit, but, They're like, oh, it's because they didn't get to And I'm like, why? <laughs> At that time why? with your dad, you, you were. Uh, was, uh, era como este grupo versátil. It was, yeah. We played cowboy, cum, cow, cowboy cumbia. Este. Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Bomba. Diri, diri, you know, all, all kinds of shit. Like, all <laughs> oh, kinds shit. of stuff. You know, like, really. Like, cumbia, rancheras, norteñas, baladas. You know, I wasn't the singer, though. I really hardly sang. I you sang many two, three songs. It was a with the bottle, Sergio, right? yeah, Sergio, yeah, yeah. which, you know, my husband got to meet the other day, and, and Arturo Garcia, which my, they did a grabación with my dad. And they, to this day, they're like, traemos un lonchecito. It was a 12-pack. <laughs> <laughs> they were so, oh my God, I need to tell you this shit. So then we used to play for like all kinds of events, like La Gente de la Purísima, Alcohólicos Anonymous, we played a lot. Oh, oh yeah? Shit. So then the guys, they were drunk. I was really young, so I wouldn't drink, you know, at this time. So they would take, you know, like, a cooler, but the cooler was like el estuche, no sé si era, I don't know if it was el estuche del acordeón or what the fuck it was, but it was full of beer and beast and they were fucked up on stage <laughs> and, the, and the people knew, you know, they're like, 
aquí los estamos esperando. It never happened, you know, but, <laughs> but it was so embarrassing because I was so young and I would see them tore up and you knew, you know, and then we just, you know what? Horoscopos was such an amazing school in all aspects, you know, and you just learn how to behave and not behave in certain yeah, events. Yeah. It really, there's some, like, bodas, you can't say swear words. You know, I don't know if that, I'm pretty sure you know, you know. Yeah. Some yeah. bodas are like mm-hmm. certain the, the religions. Religion, yeah. Yeah. So, know. so when did the transition? What? What? It was so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it was so wrong. They're like, you don't know. That was, was kind of us with Freud and shit. Like, yeah. Hey, Freud, have a drink. <laughs> Let's have, a, have some <laughs> shots. Hey, Freud, we asked you, bro. You said it was cool, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so I've known Cardinals for a lot of years already. So yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I met, uh, I met uh, you're a little more gordito. Though. So he was fat, right? Yeah. He was fat, yeah. He's like, I remember you when you were fat. But he was nice. He was those nice gorditos, you know? Yeah, because but he had the like, fucking I mean, rosy yeah, cheeks yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But I'm he was like, always nice. There's like gorditos that are not nice. He was a nice gordito. This <laughs> what are you trying to say, boy? I'm not a nice gordito. I, I remember, bro. I remember um, La Familia Gonzalez, Jesse Gonzalez, um, Don Jesse. Holy shit. That's where I met. Horoscopos and, and your dad and I was he about he passed away he passed away uh, salud para toda la familia González Jesse uh, Veron- Veronica and, uh, all the kids there I was in her quinceañera as a matter of fact there and I played in the quince- fucking quinceañera <laughs> okay if I was only permitted to be in a quinceañera if I was going to play in a quinceañera so I was a quinceañera oh, and I was shit. playing in my own quinceañera I also played no yes no. so my dad was ghetto <laughs> Well, you, you, guys, you guys would always play in the um, El Dia de los Reyes for Saint Ludmilla, I want to say, with Don Jesse. Yeah. And I was one of the saints. What the that? fuck? The, the irony. What saint were the you? The irony. Like, like, I was a dark, I was a dark one. Dark one. <laughs> I, was, I was a dark one. I don't know who it was, but I was a dark one. It's Satanás. <laughs> and I would stand I would stand there in front of horoscopos, like just jaw dropped. And then, I, you know. My parents went and asked your dad about, you know, classes because I was about five. And I remember that once. Wait, how old was I? I don't know. I mean. <laughs> don't fucking lie. I don't know how old you were. Was I already playing? I don't think so. All right. Good. Yeah, yeah. Because if <laughs> I was five, I was like five, six. So I don't think so. If you started at nine, I don't think you were. That was, a, that was nine. Because um, I remember that then, uh, back Fuck. then, your, your dad, we went to Don Jesse's house and uh, I recorded a song really? on something. I sang. I don't How know old the, were you? I was about five. Oh, you were still oh, five. Shit. Oh, that's real. Do you have it yeah, still? They used to have it. I don't have oh. it, and and we don't. Um, I really don't. I maybe I talked to Jesse like three years ago. Mm-hmm. I bumped into him, but that's where I met you guys. And then when I had Azteca, uh, yeah. that's when I was. Um, we would bump into each we other played a lot. lot. Yeah, a lot. A, a lot. lot. And then even I don't know if you're gonna remember. Um, at one point, you and your dad came up to me. Did we uh, want to take you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we like taking people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a there was a couple of bands in yeah, the Duranguense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was you yeah, guys, yeah, Al- yeah. Alacranes. Uh, I had yes, talked to Alacranes back then too. We love Alacranes. They even played in our wedding. We fucking love them. We, we had a great time. Awesome. My yeah, brother's an engineer. God. That's all I get to tell you. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's your brother? Yeah. Oh man, cool. Some big cool ass guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? How are you? He's like, here's my card. We did we did four hour pods with them. Oh yeah, that was fun. That was two- it was a four hour pot. And <laughs> it was a six up. hour hangout. So it was yeah. like an hour smoke, four hour pot, hour smoke. And, again. I, and we couldn't see them from here to this table because that's of how cloudy it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that was that's even before so awesome. we started and shit. Yeah. And I remember that Casino Tropical, you and your dad came up to me. This is right before you guys did uh, Los Dos. Uh, Los Locos. Locos, yeah. Right before that. I know Jesse's got a story on that too. I got a story on um, that. We didn't want to do it. Did you know that? That song? We did not. I remember that you So Then Braulio came in. When I when I kind of said I, you know what no I kind of we wanted to take you instead of Braulio. You were gonna t- you Fuck. asked me before Braulio. Take you. Yeah, you. You know what? Technically, I'm gonna be honest. Technically, I told your dad no because I was kind of like anti Duranguense in that. So time. were we? Yeah. Oh, what? We, was, we were. Like, yes. Yeah. 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 What? Well, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, it was sorry, true. We, you know, we we didn't. We yeah. had to let our ba- our bass player that was so good to say, "Mama Alex, is it yeah. Oh, was I know fucking, Alex. Yeah. He's so. Bad ass. Yeah, you guys are like yeah, yeah. mind fucking me right now. Like, oh, why we gotta do the kitty kitty? You know, it was so upsetting. What yes. are the, what are the top artists in in the genre of music that Duranguense did not want to play? Since I'm not Duranguense, no Rosco was uh, fuck it. <laughs> it's all coming out now. It's all yeah, coming out. there you go. Wow. I, we, wow. No, we didn't want to at all. Yeah. So, cuando salió esa canción. 
música de circo, Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's it, pretty Hollywood. It was yeah, funny man. because was calling it that. in the nightclubs, cuando llegamos a nightclubs, I was oh, I was at this place and uh, I think you guys would go a lot to the, this nightclub too. And What's it called? Well, you can't Studio, name it or what? You well, can't name it. Studio 63. Uh, you know, <laughs> no, we never played there. No, no, no ever, you, you guys never played there. You no. guys went to there to drink. To party, oh no, to party. not me. Vicky okay. did. No, no I, Vicky at did. that time, okay. I'm telling you, I would not drink. Oh, I was really what, fucking good they, at one point. I don't know what happened. Me, they're like, Los Oro- <laughs> no, it's because they would always tell me Los Horoscopos are here. Play their music, and then I would play Vicky. it, and the owner, or the owner is like, take out that fucking circus music off, and I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah, okay, so. I was, <laughs> I was a little bit of an asshole back in my Vanda days. I would see the Duranguense and Noah Noah coming in, and I would, we would be playing. I would literally be on the mic like, all right, the Nintendo music's about to start, guys. <laughs> and I, I mean, I was a little bit of a... I was very ignorant. It's okay. It's don't worry about it. Yeah. It's, you know, you I'm know, not just, worried about it. But. Especially because... <laughs> <laughs> cool, you know, nah. Especially coming from a banda, like where you had like a real tuba, you could say, and all that stuff. No, and you would hear, you hear the fake tuba, you're like, oh, what the hell is that? It's because it yeah. fucking sounds like shit, you yeah, know? Yeah, exactly. What well, didn't sound wow. the same? It didn't sound the wow. same. No. So for wow. me, when you're dead and yourself, uh, you came, you guys came up to me at, at, a, at a good old casino on a Sunday night. Wow. And it was popping. Those were Classic. good times. All Durango. Great time. The prettiest girls, hottest guys. I had the little it balcony. Was, hell yeah. It was pretty oh, yeah. bad. Yeah. It was very If you were ugly, you wouldn't go there. Yeah. You just knew it. You know, I'm fucking ugly. I can't go there. You Fuck couldn't that. go in, bro. Well, I, I, mean, I wasn't, wasn't there. You never went. I never went. So. <laughs> that's what, that's explains both of us. Don't worry about it. I never, I never went either. But say. right there was pretty like really nice looking people. Like they had like this thing of it was nice looking, looking people. <coughs> like Tepehuanes and all that shit. Right. Maybe before Duranguense. They were like, okay, when I was like 12, 13, which I shouldn't be, I shouldn't have been there. There was, <laughs> seriously, there was like, like Tecoras Grupo Tizoc, Pensamiento Negro, Alma yeah, Negra. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you guys didn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no. You some guys were like, you, some, some people, people weren't even in the, their parents' <laughs> testicles. It was YouTube. like before. They were like, no, oh, yeah. We had, uh, stay, Los Yumas, the Zacatecas. Los Yumas, yes. We had Ambrosio uh, from, from, uh, from, um, Pensamiento. from Pensamiento. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah those are all those those groups from back then. So yeah. Los Yumas used to be fucking rockets. Fuck, oh, hell they yeah. Dude, they were rock stars. They yeah. would play, I remember they would be like, my dad's like, no, pues vamos a primero tocar porque empiezan los Yumas. Like, oh my God. Yeah. I want to go see <laughs> Holy shit! Wow, that's that's a big band. And I'm like, Did you ever get to see La Sombra? Yes. In Chicago. Yeah. The gusanitos. Sap- the sapo. 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 They would play them a lot in um in Johnny Canales and a tremenda yeah. too. They were like Tejano style. Margarita yeah. Vasquez was a programmer. Yeah. Yeah. God damn, we're fucking old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Holy are, yeah. shit! Fourth, You're getting there, buddy. Fourth level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I remember all that shit. I know yeah. you. I know you. I know you were on the radio. I was on the radio. <laughs> 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 it's, it's an inside, no, no, we were kids at that time. We were, he no, couldn't yeah. have been on the radio. It's, a, it's an inside joke. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, were yeah, like in was. grammar school. And that shit. I would, I would literally they sneak in there. I would sneak into. Uh, I was the video was casino. too grainy. Yeah, they, they, they have mullets, especially uh, Sergio Ugly Gomez. Mullets. Remember Sergio Gomez? No, 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 no. Este, um, ¿cómo se llama el grupo uh, we're talking about? From um, uh, Sergio Gomez. No, 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 no. The, 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 the kids. The Sombra, Sombra. they Sombra. had mullets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, Dirty as mullets. They would wear with no <laughs> shirts. Yeah, yeah, no shirts. That's so gross. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even touch it. It was Shout big. out to Rene. Salud para Rene. I'm so sorry. I've never liked mullets, ever. Por eso se lo quitó acá el compa José. It's like, ugly, like really nice and then some big ass hair hasta acá. Like, <laughs> like los fugitivos style. Kind of oh. Thing. Yeah. Oh, that was ugly, too. Yeah. <laughs> With the white socks? That's how back the, the white socks black shoes. Really fucked up with the white socks. You black don't do that shit. Like, the charol. The charol. Yeah. And then... Um, We're going to get in trouble, aren't we? Like, nah. Sure. Gonna, nah. Nah. I get it's, it's a little history lesson. It's only probably. facts. It's yeah. Only facts. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, only. It's, it's, what, it's whatever we, we're thinking as well. It's look, it's down spins. We're right? reminiscing. Right? We're yeah, reminiscing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When... I had a quick question. Maybe we're probably fast forwarding a little bit. Look, talking about blast. those locals. Oh, yeah. ta- talking about those locos. Este, oh, did yeah. you guys still consider yourselves... Loco cuando dio ese pinche putazo de canción porque era un putazo y okay. can't you can't deny it. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened with Dos Locos. Dos Locos, okay, we did a, a, a disco called eh, de Rasga, ¿cómo se llama? De Tamborazo Limpio, ¿no? No, Tamborazo Limpio, no. Rompe Rasga. Rompe Rasga, okay. So then when we were with Nat Disa, Procan, they're like, ¿por qué hicieron eso? Si, si le dimos la de Dos Locos, I'm talking about two discos before. Le dimos dos locos y dijimos que quitaran el bajo, que quitaran la trompeta. Vicky would play the trumpet at that time. I remember that. Yeah. And I would play the sax and I would go to the keyboard. I don't know what the fuck I was playing, but they would throw me to one. If somebody would leave and I would have to learn shit. So it was really difficult, you know, and then I didn't know, like right now, I don't know who the fuck I am like that. So then it's to that point, you know, where 
they're like, no, tienen que grabarlo loco, si no, pues esto no va a funcionar. So then, forcefully, forcefully, we did it. That was and a disquera tenida. Forcefully. Yeah. We did it after Rompi Rasga, that one. And it wasn't even, it's really funny how it hit. People just started playing it randomly without it being, you know, like promoted or anything. Mm-hmm. And then it just, it just blew up. Yeah. I yeah. don't even know. I don't, we don't even understand. And then Martin Fabian grabbed us cuando ya iba al vuelo, you know? Right. Porque ya había agarrado Montes, ya había agarrado Patrulla, and, and then he grabbed us, but then... But those were orders from La Disquera, saying, yes. hey, you got to play the song. Yes, they told us, you know what, fuck up the locos in Duranguense. So we're like, no, we can't do it because it sounds so pretty. And it was so recent, you know? It was very recent. It was very time. recent. Yeah. So we're like, we can't do that shit. Con mi amor por ti was re- very recent too. Obsesión. And más, I have an anecdote. So <laughs> we were in the billboards, right? And then este estaba Romeo in front, you know, sitting there. We were pisteando. Obviously, we had like bottles of water. And they're like, hey, hola, mucho gusto. Eh, you know, saludando and I'm like nosotros son we fucked up your song so like, we did I swear to God I swear to God I told him like wow. that we fucked up your song like, si la escuchamos no, pues oye muy bien you know you fucking like Entonces, ¿quieres, un, quieres un traguito and then it was Leo you know and all of a sudden he, he took it and then we're cool you know we but yeah you know we, it's cause you know we, we, we tell them all the time we fucked up your song so then yeah, yeah. Oh my. hey so, he gave you the green we, uh, all the time up, we though. see him you know, he looks special, but, you know, saluda, and it's like, cool, you know, all the time, you know, with all those people, because, you know, you tell them straight on, you know, we just fuck that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like, ah, and then, you know, he's yeah. just fucked Hell up. yeah. And then Braulio comes in and singing, and he's like, fuck it up. Fuck. So my theory's wrong. It could have been Carlos singing that shit. It yeah, could have been. 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 He didn't fucking want to do yeah. that fucking disco. Sh- I mean, I, um, circo shit. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, but I, I fucked it up right so there. You could have been at billboards right at that point. Yeah, you could have been when you know drinking with us with Rome and Romeo. Yeah, and shit. I could have. Yeah, <laughs> he could have telling been like, him we fucked up his shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just telling him I fucked up his like, shit. Like I fucked up his shit. I fucked up. No, we told him we fucked up his shit. Jesse was under like when when I had mentioned like hey I'm trying to get Oscar Marisol on here. Um, and he was under the impression, like, I got to ask her. I'm <laughs> yeah. fucking sure that they recorded this song because of me. And, what was it? <laughs> She's going to be looking at me like, hell no. No, 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 no. You can tell me it's fine. No, no. It's just uh, at that time I was playing a Volcan. And you guys. Volcan was a good place, yeah, too. So yeah. Yeah. Lobos was, was never good. <laughs> yeah, it's different. You know what? Even <laughs> when we were young, you would right. be like, oh, fuck, that's how old people. And it's still, you know, like, you know. Old people at that time, meaning our age at that time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. then it's it wasn't as was it, cool as Volcan. Or was, it, was it Mario's? Back then it was Mario's. Mario's, was Mario's. yes. Yeah. My Volcan. dad did all the neon lights. I Mario's. remember your dad. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Your dad did a lot of fucking neon lights, right? Like, yeah. uh, like uh, currency exchanges and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was his, that was that's, his business. That's why he yeah. bought you know the, the place here. So the garage here used to be yeah. his ne- neon light business. Nice. Wow. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Well, I was I was a DJ go back, there. Let's go back and, to that. And we, we, I would I would play a lot of bachata, and so I was playing entre los grupos. Mm-hmm. And I know you guys are going to be playing that night. And your dad came up. He, oh my God, si, Gato, what he tell He's you? like, "Cómo se llama esa canción que tocaste? <laughs> esa canción." And it was los. It's because he knew that they probably had asked us. It's because it was Mingo Chavez that told us to, mm. to record it. So he's it like, wasn't my dad. He's like, "What? What is that name of that song?" I'm like, "Los Locos." Mochi y Alejandro. You know, you should tell him. You know, Mingo told you. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably like, "Fuck, that's the song he that's told the me." Yeah, yeah, song yeah, yeah, fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that's the song we're like, gonna fuck shit. up. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna take you back a, a little bit too. A lo que me, me acuerdo. Um, how difficult was it for you to? within the group to do the change within the band when you guys went, I guess you could say younger because that's when you replace singer, yeah. you replace a, a lot of guys, right? Like the Tambora guy, I remember, I, I forgot his name. He was there for a long time too because I was Leo, your cousin, and there was another guy. Or was he the piano guy? Is he Oscar the guy Ponce? that you were talking about? No, Jorge, Jorge used to be the, um, he played, I think, three discos. If I'm not mistaken, I, I can't remember, you know, yeah, my notion yeah. of time, I, I don't fucking remember shit. But like, he did those locos. He did si la quieres, and then Oscar Ponce came in. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know who he of is. Oh yeah, of course, hell <laughs> yeah. Big, shout, big shout out to Oscar. Oscar, yeah, Oscar so produced then, a couple of albums for us. Yeah, he's a he's a monster. Yeah, he, yes, he is. He's yeah. very very talented. And then he came in, and then there's there hasn't been any other keyboard player since. Oh, okay, it's only okay. been Jorge and then him. Yeah. But Jorge did those locos and. Oh, he did. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh man. That's Even he did he did Obsession too. He did um. You know, the fucked up one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I he did the bangers. And, and we can't deny porque, porque esas canciones 
Uh, you know, they were they were listened everywhere. Oscar yeah. did Antes Morta Que Sencilla, okay. and then he yeah. did like uh, from there. You know what I think he did? Mi Amor Por Ti. Yeah, he did because he came out of the video and he he got really mad at the model that I was with. He um. La Tigresa was fucking this guy. ¿Cómo se llamaba the guy? <laughs> he was, so no lo dieron because he was popular one time because it was in that moment, you know, their moment. Yeah. <laughs> it's the truth. So he was my model. So that the I dude. can't remember him. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah, 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 yeah. So that, <laughs> he was. <laughs> let me drink. Let me drink. <laughs> no, tómale, tómale. Do you need another one? Yet no, do you know I have a flight at six in the morning? I, I leave at six. La Tigresa es a suavecito, suavecito. That's no, Laura Leo. Oh, no. shit. Okay, sorry. Yeah. 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 Like God, Jesse, oh, <laughs> it's my birthday, all right? Happy <laughs> birthday, <laughs> birthday to oh, you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Salud, salud, Happy salud. Happy birthday, dear Jesse. You gonna drink, Carlos? Happy birthday to you. I didn't know you drank. Say more. Yes, yes, yes. I, I got a little tip Help for, for everybody in the regional Mexican uh, music salud, salud, genre. Salud, salud. salud, salud. Salud, salud. 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 Remake Salud. the fucking Salud. happy Salud. birthday song, please, because it sounds like a fucking funeral song. Like, you want it happier? You want it happier? We'll like, do it happier. Okay. Go, go to fucking Alice Garden. Happy birthday. You, you, you do the rhythm. I'll go. I'll, I'll follow you. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> he used to be a drummer. Yeah, he used to be a drummer. Both of you guys are drummers. <laughs> I'm surprised my dad didn't take you, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to take everybody here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Everybody. I'm happy that he he uh, is still focused on on Chicago talent. You know, anybody he would yeah. see, if you would like, uh, you could have been Oroscopos, bro. I could have, bro. You could have sang fucking Los Locos in Obsesión. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn it, man. I could have been all you. Oh, um, shit. You know you so, love that Now you're music. making me feel like shit. So, so I mean, you have all this exposure con, con toda la música, con toda la trayectoria, coming up from like nine years old all the way to 19, 21. Llegas al 21. You're, uh, you know, you're going places. Este, I, I would see you a lot at the radio station in La Que Buena, and I was uh, one of Pisoleo's producers, so I would see you there a lot, just, you know, being there in the morning, and I know it fucking suck for God you to wake up it, in the morning. damn it, because, you know, you know, we tenemos el volteado el reloj, <laughs> right. you know, so then you sleep at 4 or 5 in the morning, Fuck and then yeah. for them to tell you, oh, you know, we need to go to the radio station, and say, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't miss that shit. Hell no. No, I'm doing it again. <laughs> yeah, you now even, that's where you gotta go in the really, morning. <laughs> no, well, I leave at six in the morning, but you know, I have like this whole schedule coming up, and I'm I just showed it to my husband, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's TV in the morning. Oh, like oh, it's nice. even yeah, worse. Yeah. Like like tipo like programa de hoy. You know that's okay. that's really fucking early. <laughs> yeah. It's like Despierta America, the same shit. When yeah. they would tell us like Zurangian, so Maria Despierta America, and I'm like, oh, we, we love we love everybody there, everybody. Right. But the times for us. It's it's really bad. Like, you, that's an it. early that's an early uh, wake right up. Right now I'm guys. normal right now because I'm unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> so then I wake up, you know, like you know, you know, early, and I go to sleep early, and so then I'm already drunk with this. So then I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I haven't even done my maleta yet. So I'm really scared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> he's like <laughs> he don't know what the hell I wear. <laughs> Huh? Now you got three maletas and you. Oh, I have three maletas. <laughs> I have, I have three maletas in my accordion. Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit. What? She'll pack it up with a bunch of shit she won't even use. I won't yeah. even use it. <laughs> but then you know, you don't know. They pack me up with all the schedule, and I'm like, fuck this shit. Let me throw this. Because so then if I wear the same shirt on on Instagram or on Facebook, they're like, this bitch don't have clothes. <laughs> They'll come after you. Bro, like, damn. everybody online is, like, forgiving me. I can't, Fuck, I can't, man. I can't do shit, because then, god damn, especially being a girl, it's horrible. I think it's uh, girl it, or guy, right? Anything, like, it's just, anything, uh, anything. In my next life, I better be a guy with Lechuga's voice y bien puto. Seriously. <laughs> I, t- I say it all the time in my next life when I'm incarnated, but I gotta be- You can't be like that, though. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not you. Thank you. Up, wow. You're older, right? You can't do that shit. <laughs> We're Facts. old like me, you can't do that shit. But when in my next life, I want to have Lechuga's voice but, and be like the front singer and then be a little hoe. <laughs> <laughs> That's the life right there. <laughs> you know you like that, Jesse. Oh, my God. Jesse's like, God damn. Yeah, it's your life dream. I wasn't expecting this. That's why I wasn't expecting this. Like, I, 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 I have I a voice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you expect like a saint or what? <laughs> no, no. I was Fucking expecting you. just talking, Watching but uh, I wasn't expecting... No, this is great. This is great. Don't get her started. Se vuelve frente la visita. And that's just uh, that's just one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a drink before coming because uh, I was really stressed out because they told me my schedule and it scared me. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. 
What are you going to go promote? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, do you do, do you, fucking do Do you still do radio stuff? Because of, a big argument here with uh, us and Jesse. I love radio. Love you love radio. radio. But is it still? Lo- I hate TV and I oh. love radio. And nobody offers me. They've offered me like important TV shit. Right. And I've said no. And nobody offers me fucking radio. But I'm po- <laughs> Jesse, it oh, makes me really mad. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. We're not you know, it's either. like, you know, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, and TV, it's different. You got to be, you know... It, it's so much, it's the stereotype, you know, you got to be naive and, you know, look really good and be proper and standing, you know, and sometimes I'm slouching and I don't give a shit, you know, and, and radio, you could just be you, right? you could be you on a TV. Not, I don't think you could be you on TV. It's just, <laughs> still, Makes sense. It, it does you know, make sense. It's it, just, it's, it's, you can't be you on TV. Uh, it, it's it, just so formal, you know. You it's gotta extremely follow the, formal. You gotta There's follow like, like, the guidelines. Yes. Yeah. Follow, and you can't yeah. swear. You can't say. You can't swear on, t- on radio either, you know. But yeah. right. at least, well, right now I am. But you know. <laughs> yeah, right here is cool. Yeah, it's YouTube. Yeah, yeah. You're good. Yeah, we cool. You can we do good. whatever here. Like, yeah. Shit. Fuck. Jesse takes off his fucking shirt all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not today though. Bro. It is fucking. You guys hot don't know, but he has a fucking thong on. He was ready to throw himself on. <laughs> it is my birthday. It you is know. His birthday. Hello. And his girl's here, <laughs> yeah. so you never know. You never know. Yeah. You guys just kind of cock blocked a little bit. Like, Got to come, come to the office, and I'm like, fuck. Mm. God just, damn it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's because I was. I'm leaving tomorrow, so I don't I know, even know I, when the fuck I'm gonna come back. Why, I'm really that's, scared. No, no. Yeah, <laughs> you're scared. Wait, why? They're gonna kidnap you? Okay, nah, nobody wants me. <laughs> <laughs> They're scared. They're scary. <laughs> ask the truth. <laughs> don't ask me. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to. Um, you know, we were scheduling this. Like, hey, she's gonna, she's gonna leave, and we don't yeah. know exactly where. She, I'm like, so let's do it. Like, all right, let's do it. Fuck it, let's, let's do it today. Do it. Yeah. Um, we had to move some stuff with Jesse, but Thank it was you, all good. Thank you. You had to compromise. Dinner. Thank you guys very yeah. much for like catering around me. You know, but yeah, I'm leaving. No, I don't even know. What, you know what? I don't even know what I'm gonna see Lechuga actually. And that's what he told me. Actually, I wow. don't know. Yeah. So yeah. then my grandkids have been sleeping with me like over the house for the past three days because they're like scared because they're not gonna see me. They don't know, but my daughter's like. I'm like I didn't tell you to do two and like one after another. You should wait a little bit, you know. But yeah. And then um, if we can kind of jump now as far as like um, we could totally continue doing the Chicago thing. I oh, I mean, I'm love down with it. Chicago. I'm down, I'm down yeah. with it. I'm down. We 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 well, love the Chicago. So, okay, so, don't get so me wrong. getting down to Chicago, you're getting going back to to you know radio and all this stuff. What were some of the places that you wanted to fucking bang and jam out and had a great time here in Chicago? Here in Chicago, what nightclub was? I like did all of them. No, of course you did all of them. Pero cuál era el, el favorito tuyo? That you're like no, no. That, that en okay, corral. Because oh, yes. let me yes. tell you my schedule on the weekends, right? Oh, y los los bailes de los acatecanos on Mondays, they were banging right well, here in the, the Legion yeah, in countryside. Local, local, oh, yeah. local one fifty. Holy yeah, shit, yeah. they were so good. Yes. Yeah, hell yeah. So we would do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah, and yeah. then Monday. But then we would do Saturday like boda quinceañera, mm-hmm. you know, bautizo, and then after that we would go to three different nightclubs, and we finished. We would finish and okay, corral. But since I didn't drink at that time, at that time. So then you no más veías que los pájaros, you know, you know, it's it's some hardcore shit. <laughs> Hell <know>? yeah. <laughs> and then Sunday casino. Yes. Always. Yeah. Lunes los los de Zacatecas. Like Friday, good. I don't remember. You know where I didn't like El Boston? I didn't like that uh, place. Was this it the stairs? Was it the fucking <laughs> stairs? Is it the, <laughs> the, the place that burned down? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. It fucking sucked. They, they yeah. burned it down because of the stairs. I, <laughs> I, I didn't like it as a venue, but I liked the... Uh, the vintage look, like it. The I fucking, didn't like that the shit either. Fount, the fountain, and shit. I the fountain. fountain. It was scary. That was scary. It was, it was like creepy. some shit was gonna pop red, up in red the bathroom carpet. toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like there was gonna be a massive shootout there. <laughs> yes, okay. yes, I didn't like Globos either. Yes. I didn't. Mexico Moder. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, the stage. Well, which at the one? Time was like this. Do you remember the stage was like you were playing, and it was like this. Was, like, was it the one on Cicero? The one on Cicero. Like in the north side. Yes. Yeah. But there's the other one. Yeah, there's two. There's two. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the original one. The oh, one shit, that's been one forever, forever, it's forever. Probably the one on, uh, like 80s, 90s. I think it's the other Shout one. Shout out, George. My, <laughs> I think it's the other one. I think it's okay, the other so one. my dad was friends with the owner of that place. No sé si se llamaba Tabo? No. No? No. I don't remember. Like the whole family. Well, they killed him. Or he died. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, that's the other one. Then. Uh, I think it's on Palacio. He was a yeah, really good friend of him. No, yeah. it was on Ashley. He lived next Ashley. to Ashley. 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 Yeah. That the stage fucking sucked. <laughs> it sucked. 
Wow. Yeah. Wow. You don't remember it? Like, it was I, I, I never played on the one on Horrible. Ashland. I did play on the one on Cicero, but not yeah. the one on Ashland. I heard that one on Ashland was shitty. I never, <laughs> ever played in a Sinaloense. I don't have a problem with it, uh, nor oh. do I know, but I never played there. Oof. That was a cool place. I never played. For who? <laughs> 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 I liked it. When, uh, we were, when, you, when you were done playing at 2 in the morning, let's go to Sinaloense and party. <laughs> They're open till five. That's when you come out and the fucking sun's out. Like ah. the sun is out, literally. You're like, holy shit, what's going on? No, I never played there because we were like, we we're more like goody two shoe shit, you know, like like love shit, you know. And it's, I think it's more corridor there. Right? I yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's, we yeah. Don't that do was an after hours. Yeah. That was really twenty eighth and Yeah, that was there at seven p.m. doing fucking uh, control uh, remoto. Control remoto. remoto. So like six to no, the <laughs> Like seven to ten. It's the noche. I was like, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shout out to Don Frank. <laughs> There's Shout a place out. by El Alamo that used to be de la gente Tierra Caliente. I don't remember the place. It was like a Chinese restaurant. Holy shit. It would be always really fucking packed with like Tierra Caliente. It was it would get really good. By Alamo. By Alamo. Oh. That side. We didn't play Alamo that much. I mean, Aragon that much. Uh, sorry. Aragon. Aragon. Yes, Aragon. by Aragon. Oh, okay. oh and it was one. It was a restaurant. It was like a Chinese, a Chinese restaurant. Era yeah. La Pista Oriental. La Pista. Holy yeah. shit. Oh, wow. Holy yeah. shit. That place would get lit. Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck? That was oh, a lot of shit. Palmar Chico people. Yes, there. it was Palmar yeah. Chico. Estado in Mexico. Yes, it was. And I think uh, if I'm yes. if I'm correct, it was a shout out to Silvestre Dominguez. I don't know if you're familiar with him. I, I do see him in... Okay. in, um, in El Candelas. A, yes, Candelas. Yes, we yeah. just saw him not too long because Lechuga played also. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Candelas is another fucking Chinese spot. Is that, it's it was. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's not a Chinese restaurant anymore? Uh, not anymore. Yeah, no, oh, when shit. it started. When it started, when it started, when it started, it started I remember. You walk yeah. in, you had the fucking Chinese buffet. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, uh, <laughs> fucking Dominguez. <laughs> Silvestre. Love, you know what I love playing here? I fucking love that. Like playing in the in the basements of the churches were always badass violets. Oh, yeah. The sound usually Bad. wasn't the greatest. <laughs> Did you ever play at Blessed Agnes in the basement? Uh, and Agnes. Is that on 20th and Central? 26th and Avers. Avers. Oh, wow. No, isn't that on Central Park? Yeah. Central Park. Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. I played sorry. at the... Rock, I play, rock side. I played at the festival. <laughs> I played yeah. at the festival, not at the basement. We did festival too, yeah. yeah that that festival. And then you guys uh, you guys also played on uh, the 155th and Kedzie, right? The church? Single, uh, single, yes. yes. Yeah. My daughter went to school there from kindergarten to second grade, and then we we moved to um, Lamont okay. after that. Yeah. So qué pedo era con con ese la onda de las iglesias? Like I don't that? know. That's some. <laughs> that's some like. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the That's fuck wrong. It's some wrong shit. It was some wrong shit. Like I was about to say it was some wrong shit. The fucking basement they of were the church. baddest bailes there. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, yeah. you guys ain't fucking singing, singing a la vare, a la vare. You're, yeah. yeah. you know? no. You're playing all these corridos and shit. And <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that... Back, back then it was just because maybe uh, <clears throat> our good friend Ivan Fernandez was doing all the clubs and then you had the promoters that wanted to do shit. There wasn't any salones back then, like extra salones. People were not doing it at a mari marisqueria or anything like that. So no, they had to go to exist, the, yeah. the best thing. Fucking, let's go to church. <laughs> church, church <Yeah>. basement. Pinche <laughs> padrecito was getting yeah. a good percentage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they would charge you rent, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 Padrecito was like, um. <laughs> and, those big, um, and those basements were um, pretty big, man. You, they were really yeah. big. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. They, were, they were, you know, the blessed, the blessed Agnes, St. Agnes, Pio, San Pio. San Pio. There's okay. another one. I don't remember the It's name. on that Providencia. That was a huge Providencia. It was a big-ass place, too. They, they knocked that one down, no? No, that one's right there right off of 94. 9094 on 18th Street. Holy oh, shit, that, that was, was the best one. That, yeah, that was. Que, yeah, que yeah, yeah. Tarde, not, not a tarde, so the one from Denver. ¿Cómo se llamaba ese grupo? Patrulla 81. No, not Patrulla. Uh, Denver. Fuck, 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 fuck. They I was, I was so Patrulla. fucking ignorant that I thought Durangues was just a Chicago thing. Uh, like it was and, like Trono oh, yeah. de Mexico really would was. come out and like you're from Chicago. Hey, hey, Trono okay. de Mexico is not doing against it. Okay, I need to talk. I need to okay, now that you brought this up, I need to talk about this there like in go. public. There you go. Okay, so then when I started, you know, like expanding, meaning that I left, you know, La Cuna, you know, El Ombligo. So then we started going to Mexico. I started people seeing dance, like seeing people dance really awkward, like robotic. Like I would dance, I would play because I was do the you know not like shit, here. and it would confuse me. I have to like not look at them because they go like this. <laughs> I don't know. Throwing your ass off. I don't know. They're seizuring or like what the fuck is going on. But you know, it, I, we didn't dance like that here in Chicago. And they're like, no, es que es el baile viene de Chicago. And no, I fucking didn't. We're, I don't know where it distorted. 
you know, it, it really didn't, you know, like when you go to different parts of Mexico and Guatemala and El Salvador, you know, whatever, um, it they danced it differently. Different. And they're oh, like, well, es que así se baila. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Since we're from here, Montes and us, you know, La Cranes were like, fuck it. If you guys like it, it's fine, you know, but yeah. I didn't understand, you know. Right. And that's how, how the so dance So people started? would make fun of it. Right. Yeah. But we it's still to okay. So I still the other, to this day I say eating soup, eating soup. But we eating never do. Why we never do that here? I didn't see people go like this here in Chicago. And it's, or did I? Or I, maybe I missed it. Did you see it or I not? I did see it. I did. Oh see shit! It. I didn't. And then because I because do you remember when all those clubs were very popular, like los club quebradores? No, cool, but cool, they were doing the yeah. They were like yeah, flying right. shit. Yeah, like, yeah, it yeah, like, yeah. It was like circuit display shit. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, I agree. He said they had those barbitas all the time. You know, they had to oh, fucking yeah. wear the. But pants. I think you're right. It was mostly like an outside thing that maybe just came here that started yeah. doing this shit. But yeah. I saw that and I'm like, what the fuck is that shit? <laughs> yeah. And then like. Like this, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> robotic. I didn't say nothing, but you know, it's awesome. You know that you're, enjo- you know what? As long as you fucking enjoy yourself, you can dance however the fuck you want. Yeah. Yeah. You can do I somersaults agree. if you want and splits. I don't give a shit. What one of the things that you just said? You know that you guys went to what, Guatemala, South America. What was one of the things that you saw in the itinerary? Okay, you're like, fuck, we're going here. Well, you know, they listen to us. In este, in este país, what, what was something that blew that your mind? That surprised you the most? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't the país, it's el estado. It okay. was Monterrey. No shit. Oh, shit. So then that was our first place that we went to. One of our first places. And huh. it was super fucking packed. We did two days in a row, Montes and Horoscopos. Oh, so then we didn't understand, you know, because they're like, oh, no, es que, ¿saben qué? A lo mejor no sabemos cómo nos va a ir porque Monterrey es muy, muy fino, particular y con muy, Monter- y muy norteño. Fuck that shit. We packed two days. Yeah. You know, yeah. so then when we went también to um, El DF, you know, shit, you know, places like that, you know, El Salvador. I heard know. DF was crazy for the DF is it, really right? super crazy. Yeah. Like crazy. And I'm talking about like big, huge artists that I don't want to, you know, like make anybody feel menos because absolutely, I would never do a JT shit, you know. I don't want to say no. <laughs> Ah, oh, I, 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 I got would, that. I got that. I would never do something like I that, you know. That, but just yeah. like really huge artists, and then they would see like Duranguense. I'm not saying just us, you know, just all Duranguense, and they would be like, like the Sephora, and it's like, what the fuck, you know? People that you admire as a kid, and then you see that you're doing better than like, <laughs> but you know, you know, okay. it's you know, and they're still there, and we're not them anymore, you know. But still, right. it's you know, you know, it's 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 been a ride. I still like when I was an artist here. The logo scene. Yeah. I would come home, sleep here. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, get peda here and still be treated <laughs> like a yeah. gangster, you know. <laughs> and go to your favorite taco pl- uh, place in, in the morning or... Oh, I got Comales was always the one. Comales yeah. was... Actually, it, was, it wasn't really taco... It was always fucking Burger King, the one here in Pulaski. <laughs> <laughs> it 50, was always here, the one in Pulaski. Yeah, all the fucking time, all the time. Or, the only or one White that's Castle. Open. Yeah, that's the one that's open. And outside. White Castle gives you like the nastiest runs. I'm sorry, I don't give a shit. What are you saying? <laughs> when, you're, nice. when you're drunk and you eat that shit, you're sick like for three, four days. Yeah. But, it tastes good when you're drunk though. But is, yeah, it, yeah. is it the liquor? Is it the liquor? Is it the liquor shits? Or is it the burger? I've never had it when I'm Holly. sober, so I can't tell you. Holly, <laughs> Holly Bowles and shit. Hell yeah. You don't know. That's the best answer. Uh, I've yep. had Whoppers when I'm sober, and I don't get the runs with that shit. That's true. But you give me White Castles, you know, and I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's, Is that empty? I hear it. No. Oh. No, it's I have, no, it's because I got to go to Mexico tomorrow in the morning. Right. Hell no. It's a nice little four-hour little plane No, it's because I go from here t- to Phoenix and then Phoenix to Mexico, so okay. then I, I don't know. I'm going, I'm going Matlan. Oh, Matlan. Shit. Matlan. What I'm, I'm going to record, that's why. Nice. What the fuck am I crying? I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> you know what's the scariest part? Okay, so then, I'm talking too much, right? No, 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 no. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. This is a little liquor. Write a comment here. This is literally just, we're just fucking like, catching up with you. We're vibing, we're just talking. So then the people that have always directed me when I'm recording, because I've never been a singer, so that when I sing, I'm like really like, I'm fucking terrified to sing. It's always. Really? I'm terrified. If you put me to play, I'm fucking jamming. I don't give a shit. Like I am, but I'm fucking gangster, you know? It doesn't matter, you know? But when I'm singing, I'm like, oh, hell no. So then I see Lechuga sing, and then I see Vicky sing, and it's like, <laughs> so then they direct me all the time. So it's mm. not, if it's not Vicky, it's Lechuga. So I don't have Well, that's a monster team you have there. Yeah. No, but yeah. nobody's fucking directing me tomorrow. <laughs> oh. I'm going alone for the first time in my whole entire life. Well, so. there's a wonder thing called FaceTime. <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah, FaceTime yeah. this FaceTime. guy, man. Yeah. That shit's not going to work because 
That's just not gonna work. You need to be there. You know? It's the same thing. That's the same wow. thing as being yeah. there. So I'm really fucking terrified. How was that? How terrified were you when este, the Urañense and mm. you guys entered a phase of Vanda? That was fucking terrifying, too. That, mm. Really? Yes. Yes. It wasn't in your element where you're like, oh shit, it, it, it's it, you know, because Chicago, like right now, it's <sighs> big Vanda. I mean, it's always, Vanda has always been there, you know? Always, the, yeah. So, like, I mean, why were you terrified, though? You know what? You kind of get used to. Excuse me. For example, like, you know, Luranguense, which is six, seven musicians, you know. And then you have fucking 20 pitos playing in back of you. <laughs> it's so yeah. fucking loud. I even got vertigo. I'm sorry. It was so bad. I, I had really? A, a really bad imagery. Yes, you did. I, I, I saw you. Yeah. Cause... So, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what horns, the fuck? She means yeah. horns, bro. Yeah. Horns. You have, instruments, you have all instruments. these instruments. It sounds ah. dirty, too. All these instruments playing super fucking loud. And it's like. Holy shit, you feel it you feel your brain even going like this, you know, your ears, you know, you're not used yeah. to that mm -hmm. magnitude. It's it's powerful shit. Right. You know, and you have to sing a little bit louder if you don't have a shitty engineer. Mm -hmm. We've never had shitty engineers, but still, you know, you think you have to because it's so much power, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's a mental thing. It was thing. it's yeah. a mental thing. So and it's it's scary, you know. But then we're cool with it. Now we're cool with it, you know, but still, you know, it's it was scary. When, when did you guys decide to stay like both of you guys are, uh, I, I, I always said, you guys are like powerhouse voices. You're your sister. Lechuga says that. Like powerhouse, like you, you the dynamics, se, se acomplan este Vicky too. Yeah. I, I mean, some, there was one time I heard uh, Vicky go really high like a fucking opera singer. And I'm like, yeah. damn. Yeah. But like, when did you guys find that fucking dynamic? Okay, you guys were able to fucking sing like that. As kids. You know, that we would always do like primera, segunda, tercera. Leo would always do a tercera, you know, like nice. messing around at the house. We do primera, segunda, tercera playing like in the keyboards and the sax, you know, and then all that stuff. So then that kind of like gives your ear like that it develops that you mm -hmm. know how to do a segunda, tercera. Because there's, there's a lot of fucking um, really good singers that can't do a fucking segunda. True. Y yep. menos una puta tercera, right? You know? <laughs> so then you know, it's really hard, you know? So then that kind of like your ear has to like, I guess, educate itself. I guess. I don't know. I'm just talking out of my ass, you know, but. You know, it's that's how it's always been. You know, we we've been musicians since we've been kids and listening to other musicians and. So nunca era estudiado que. Vicky did. Vicky, we went to okay. So then I went to UIC and from UIC I went to Saint Saint Xavier University. Okay. So then Vicky and I went together there, and then when Do Locos pegó, I was in my last semester of Saint Xavier, so I was going to get a bachelor's, and Vicky was in a double major. She was computer science and music major. Mm. And she was in the opera ensemble, but she was la chingona. So there venía la gente of opera people to go see her. Oh, shit. So then they would tell my dad, my dad's so ghetto. So he would, <laughs> my dad would go see her in the, in the concerts, and my dad would take his amforita because he would be so excited because they would be like, you know, like putting her there because Vicky's, Vicky's super, super talented. So then, and then they'd be like, no. And her professor would tell her, how is it that you're going to stop coming to school Porque pegó dos locos at that moment. And we she couldn't go to school in New York. I, I stopped and she stopped. How are you gonna stop to go pursue a career that's so short short termed, you know? And this has a longer lifespan. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing, you know? And she's like, Well, this is my family, this is my, you know, this is what I aspire to do. And she left and and till this date, like por ejemplo, once in a while you see her put like not recently because I haven't been with her recently because she just had a baby so she's in like in a whole other world but she would put like like um opera shit and she would sing it and she knew you know how to do it and I'd be like what the fuck is this shit and I'd still I'm looking at her and I'm like mm, that's cool that's cool that's cool I'm gonna sing <laughs> but she's very she's very talented so her professor's like I think you're making a big mistake huh. but she's still cool and she went to go see us in a, a not the taste of Chicago we went to go play it was the taste of Chicago oh her professor went to go see her Nice. And, and and um, she's like, oh my god, I didn't know it was to this, you know, magnitude, whatever, you know. I'm so excited, and I met her, and yeah, she's, that's right, bitch. she didn't tell me. I, was, <laughs> wait, wait. She's I like, told you, you're she's like, you sing so good, and she's like, oh, nice to meet you, and I'm like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> She did that. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah,
Just, my dad, okay, so my dad, before the music came, he's like, más les vale que vayan, que vayan a la pinche universidad. Yo no quiero pinches burras. So my dad's always been super, super strict with us. He was ghetto. Like, he would make us cut the grass and levantar la nieve, you know. He, like, made, like, I'm, I'm, just because I'm a girl, but he made us, like, into men, you know. Right. Like, inner men, you know. So then we did go to school, both of us, but then we couldn't finish because I don't know what year Vicky was and she was a double major. I don't know, and she's younger than me. She's four years younger than me. So, um... I don't know where she ended, but she was actually really advanced. She graduated in Lourdes High School National Honor Society and, you know, oh, shit. Nice. like shit like that. Yo, puro pinche panzazo. But I was gangster. I was popular. I was fresh from princess. I was cool. Hell yeah. yeah. You were the cool crowd. Fuck yeah, like, was. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. You're like, <laughs> fuck yeah. Teacher, you're not going to pass me? No, I had, a, I had a teacher that, you know, she was a pobrecita, my teacher. She, she died in a ski accident. What the fuck? She did. She, she really did. She was my English teacher. I would always do some dumb shit. Like, I was like queen spitball and stuff like that because it was all girls. Spitball. Yeah. I really, really was. So then she would always like, I don't know, me le caía también. And she's like, there, so one more time I'm going to send you, you know, to, the, what is it called, the, the lady? What is the fucking lady the called? The dean. The dean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was a nun, and she'd stop, she was um, Sister Barbara, and then she became Ms. Barbara. Oh, oh shit. She She's am. a dirty ass. Yeah. Oh, no. So then, <laughs> when broke, I would do she shit. She broke the rule. She, she, she would like, you didn't go to Sister Barbara, and then she would never send me, though, you know, so we were cool, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> she broke yeah. the rule with uh, she broke the main fucking rule. <laughs> you're, you're a miss now. She's Miss, uh, Miss, yeah, and, and, and miss. You, you couldn't say Miss, Miss. miss. She get pissed, <laughs> Miss, <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. So where where my boy Jesse started right off right off the bat, <laughs> um, what exactly ended up happening right now towards the end? I did pandemic. I obviously had. A lot to do. How was pandemic for you guys, by the way? I had. A, I was fucking drunk for like the six, first six months. That's the truth. We watched Game of Thrones. We were drunk all three the fucking times. Time. Fuck three yeah, times. we did three times. We were, I'm not, I don't want to fucking lie to you. I had a. I had a such a fucking blast because I was so working so much that I was able to disfrutar mi casa. You know. Yeah. That was like the first was, time yes, in a while. Yeah. Yes, and I'm like, God damn, my dog shit everywhere. I didn't even know that. Like, God damn, you, you shit know, these you know, many my times. My husband and I. I'm like, God damn, we had sex all the time. Yeah. You know? It was fucking. <laughs> amazing it was awesome we would sleep at cierto no babe like 9 10 in the morning watching game of oh shit. shit no i'm Get talking about oh, oh and check this out and we wake up and we would call our house vegas because since <laughs> there's pure adults we don't have children anymore we don't have no, like little kids so i'd be like you want to drink babe yeah so then we start drinking in the morning you know i think my liver hurts a little bit like <laughs> but you know but we, I, I had a really good time it sounds really fucked up i'm sorry people that had a, no, a rough time you know but i had a really I, I I I liked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm asking. Uh, we didn't I'm, do shit. Yeah. I'm asking uh, more also because both of you guys are obviously like tour but, artists. And but we then, didn't last yeah. that long without working. I started in June, right away. Oh shit! The okay. end of June. Okay. And I played five. No, I played Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday in Dallas. Right away, and everybody got sick the first weekend. <laughs> everybody got yeah. sick yeah. except for me. God. And then Lechuga was um, working, and then. I don't know if my brother got sick with him working with you. And then I still didn't get sick. I got sick afterwards. You know. But um, I, I had a... It was like a little reflection time of what was important, what wasn't, you know. Oh, yeah. I think Drinking oh, yeah. was, was just amazing. <laughs> no, it, it, it's drinking, oh, sorry. Like my first drinking month. Help. My drinking first helped. month, <laughs> yeah. I caught up on all my sleep, you know. Like the first month that it happened, I'm like, oh. You know, How pandemic. many hours did you sleep? I probably slept like at least 16. Holy shit, did you oh, take damn. Xanax? Yeah. No, what the fuck sleep. did you do, drugs? No, Are you I fucking would, smoking? No, I what were you see even, Carl? What, 16? I, yeah. I can do like 10 no, and I'm like, damn, sleep. what, what I, must have been better? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like go like this? To say, yeah, that's what, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah she, was, she was just like, is he fucking breathing? I'm like, Were you drunk? No, no, I wouldn't drink. I just caught up on my Were you depressed, bro? Fuck yeah, I was. No, but like after the month, I'm like, okay, Orita, like we're gonna start the yeah. gigs are gonna come in or they're gonna come back and I just see on the calendar cancellation 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 you're like okay well that's scary you know because it's work for us right yeah. so it's scary you know because that means that there ain't no fucking money to come in you know like right. 
buy food and shit. So that's why we're like, okay. I mean, you, you, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody should be smart that you should have your cushion, you know, not just spend all your money. So the the cushion was there. (laughs) And there was a lot of cushion for the pushing. That's right. That's right. Yeah, this place, the the cushion was going away. You're like, oh, it's getting flat. The pushing, like, it was getting flat. Fuck the cushion. We didn't didn't expect it to be a goddamn one year cushion. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, What the fuck's going on? Yeah. So you're like, fuck. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I'm like, all right, I caught up on Netflix. I already caught up on my sleeve. The anxiety kicked in, and you're like, uh, okay, where's the fucking drugs? Because I don't know what the fuck to do. And then you started smoking. And I started smoking. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the club, bro. Salud. I have a story about doing drugs. <laughs> Let's oh. do it. I'm going to talk about it. You want me to w- talk about it? By, by, by the way, today, we um, I, I, I respect Lechuga a lot. Uh, I, I, I sort of respect him. I hope he knows that, because today, we're smokers. Big time smoker. Yeah. But I know he my boy. That shit. Yeah, he I know. Hates it. I told my boy Jose. Uh, shout out to Jose Sermeño, your audio guy. Shout, shout out. out. Hey, shout he, out to Jose. Hey, we didn't even, yeah. even say hi to fucking Sexion today. I know. Sexion! Yay! Yay! The smo- we, we would call the people the smoking the section. Smoking yeah, section. We're always smoking. <laughs> But I told Jose, like, hey, you're going to have to smoke in your fucking truck today because Lechuga's coming and oh, I don't want to disrespect them. No, 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 no. It's all right, bro. <laughs> bro, you got the fucking God voice, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The last thing I want is to fucking secondhand your ass on He's going to blame it on the guac pot. Yeah, yeah like, ah, ah, shit. Pinche carros, ya no vamos a ir a tu pinche guac pot. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a... It's a respect, it's a respect thing, yeah. Hey, bro, you, you just... He did drugs the other day. There you go. Oh, that's what he doesn't want you to talk about. You I'm hey, about don't right say now. it twice because fucking it. Jose is going to roll up right now already. <laughs> I, already I already see his No, ass. he didn't roll he up. Did. He ate it. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, that's that's tough, man. That, that is, is, that that is tough, bro. I, I, I didn't fucking know. Oh, the <laughs> yeah. There was empanada. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want oh, to was... know where the empanadas are at. Holy shit, I, I couldn't talk. And the La mamá de los alacranes. Can, can, he, yeah, can yeah. he talk about oh, the story? Yeah. He needs I've, to talk about it. I mean, can does he want to? Fuck yeah, you want to talk about it. You can come over here, bro. Come here, boy. Tyler Paca, man. Ven acá. Because yours was really horrible. <laughs> you, had a, you had a bad trip, huh? Yeah, Luis. I think it's embarrassing. Talk about it. Right? So you, don't, you don't want me to. He don't want to talk about it. It's all right. Say no to drugs. But but it's well, not, no longer a drug though. Right now, it's it's, it's a, yes. you know it's they get taxed. So. It's, <laughs> I know. Yeah yeah. <laughs> My dad did too. Remember, he just <laughs> told Yeah. In marijuana, I could run. Oh, wow. Wow. I have all my musicians in marijuana. What's up? Uh, what was up? Uh, <laughs> the best musicians right there. <laughs> what's up? Uh, what's some of the, the, the vices that the, the peer pressure, porque siempre hablamos de the peer pressure in, in the walk park con todos los este con todos los músicos que siempre vienen aquí, todas las agrupaciones. El peer pressure de las, you know, of the stage of the scenario, like here, here, have a drink. And now with COVID, how is it? Like, you know, because no, 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 I'm good. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Don't check out. There you go. You saved it. To, you saved, you saved it. it. I'll, I'll save it. Right it. Now. I'll save it. I'll put it right here. But I can't because I have that flight, and I, I didn't even know I have like shit to do tomorrow. I just saw my dinner, and I'm like, early, early schedule. Early schedule. I get to Pasatlan too, and at four I have like a promotion. Luckily, we're not smoking. So. Because then we're like, oh, here you, go. Right here. you know what? I I, I can't do pot. Okay. I do really I do really bad. Edibles though. Got. You do no. edibles? No. Both. So that empanada okay. was more of a trick, or what happened there? Okay. So or can we talk about it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we'll just make it seem like it happened to you. The sugar's face saying nothing. Like I don't want to talk about this shit. Yeah. yeah. Both. And then I, I don't I don't do I don't do pot. I don't do drugs. Point. I just do a lot of liquor. I'm a fucking alcoholic. There you go. How it happened because like when we yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Arrímate, güey. Arrímate. No, but they, they, they laugh call, about it. They laugh about Oscar it. From Alacranes, like, shout out. Yeah. Shout out to us. Shout out. We fucking adore them. They played in our Pimp. wedding. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah we played in. It's, t- we hang around. Anyways, we text and shit. You know, and then I'll, I'll get away. Um, <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're strong, man. The last time they hit me, too. Well, when I call him to apologize, dude, because I know I was. <laughs> talking out of my ass, dude. You're like, freaking yeah, out? Yeah. Yes. Well, he told me, time. like, hey, dude, my mom should have told you. He said, <laughs> he said, I eat one of those in four days. I cut it in four pieces. Oh, shit. He said, because it's that bad. And you so eat the whole I, thing? Dude, we ate the whole thing. 
That's all I got to say. Uh, <laughs> okay, so then we got to Monica's house and then Monica's like, quiero una empanadita de, 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 de camote <laughs> con mantequita de marihuana para bueno para la artritis. I'm like, I had just finished working out. I just finished working out. I had my Starbucks and the sugar también iba también, you know, like, con su cafecito and I'm like, fuck this shit, baby. I'm like, oye, está bueno, pero eso que yo... Like 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 stevia and shit, you know, like yeah. people like that. It's, it's, it's still taste. fucking good. Fuck this shit, you know. It's because Monica, she's gangster, like cooking. <laughs> so then I started doing, you know, like like because we did a YouTube thing on cooking, and then I I just I couldn't talk anymore. You're my stuck. my tongue was stuck, stuck. and then yeah. lechuga. I saw him like this, and, I'm, <laughs> and then lechuga's like, babe, I don't feel well, and and then he started saying that Luis Miguel has a a, a time tunnel. And then, what? and then he started going like this to la fruta, really pretty bowl, the fruta que tenía Monica ahí. He started going like this, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and then he's, those camarones que tenía um, también Monica. She, we had a bunch of food, you know, they're like to show they for YouTube. They were munching hard, yeah. Yeah, this, tenía una um, shrimp cocktail. He's like, babe, I just ate the shrimp and blood came out. I go, it's fucking ketchup. <laughs> Wow. So then, hey, so was, how long did it take for it to kick uh, in? Like you, ate, you guys ate it. Then how long? No, he walked out and he said, "I can't do this. I need to leave." And I'm like, "Oscar, Monica, ya me voy, ya me voy." So then it was. I'm, so, I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. The about thirty minutes really, or so? No, 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 no. It no, kicked no, in no. fast. Oh no, no. Like how long did it take to kick yeah, to in? Yeah, kick in. Yeah. It was mm, like an hour. No less. Like. Maybe 30 minutes, oh, 40 thank minutes. God. I mean, I'm saying get bueno because usually the big mistake, big mistake with edibles is you, you you eat it and like an hour and a half in, you're like, oh, I don't feel shit. Let me yeah, eat another yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get hit with both of them and you're just on your ass. Yep. I was going to take him to the hospital. I yeah. didn't know what to do with him. No, no, no. It's just I more really of a, was. It, yeah, it's just more of a, hey, let's just let it pass. I started, I started hallucinating. He started yeah. hallucinating. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. El pitch ya se toma su cumpleaños. Lo platica, lo platica, lo platica sabroso. So. Sí. Yeah. Yeah. Pena, I'm not going to tell you about the, pro, well, the process that I went through. Right, no, right, right. Yeah, I don't want to. That's why I'm not saying it. Yeah. Like about, um, que cuando mordía el camarón, que sentía the blood squirting in mm. my cheek mm. por dentro. Yeah. One of them. Que Luis Miguel tenía una time machine. Que Where did that come from? I don't know. There was videos <laughs> was of, of, of Luis videos. Miguel. He was playing videos. Ah. So they were on TV. So I was like, hey, este güey, venía y se robaba las pinches canciones from now. You see, but back then to the 80s, dude, he would take the hits from now. So Luis Miguel wow. was robbing the covers de ahora. Yeah. <laughs> that was you my have theory, fucking dude. great imagination, bro. That's awesome. Then, I don't know why, dude, but este, I started calling everybody marihuanos. Que yo no era marihuano. Oh, shit. And this is me. And, and, like, and I couldn't talk anymore. See, so I'm like, I'm thinking in my brain, please, please. But I was talking so much shit. And then, and then it got to the point where I was calling uh, uh, Pelon's wife, his daughter. Like, hey, este. Oh, Cindy daughter, loved it. You know? She loved Cindy. <laughs> loved it. <laughs> so like, and then I caught myself like, just like, like, okay, you know what? Something's not right because everybody was, I, well, I thought that everybody was looking really now, if you if you tell Chris, like right now, se ríe de mí, bro. He starts like Yeah, they all laugh at you. No, they're cool. Yeah. I, don't know. I know they're cool, dude. I yeah. love them. I love all of them. Yeah, we get along with them sí, super sí, well. Like, me, sentí como que me pasé. Y like, pues saben que you're not a, a frequent. Yeah, se no, enojó, no, at all. Se enojó yeah. pelón con su mom que le dijo que, que por oh, qué me no dejó. Digo. Like, yeah. in... And I'm like, dude, I had to call. I think I, every time I see him, I apologize, dude. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, dude, I was really embarrassed. I, I think I caught myself, like, not being myself. Right. Y yo solo me salí de la casa. Is that what you didn't like? A lot of people don't like the feeling of not having control of yourself, right? Yeah, I don't like having... I don't. Like I just think that I felt like if I disrespected their home. Right, right. You know? And yes, I was digging into the fucking uh, fruit, fruit bowl. But you were just grabbing it to no, eat like, it? No, like this. Was, like what? The, like but it that. was really pretty. It was, re prepared, like, it was really like, pretty. Nice. Yeah, like you're serving a platito. Yeah, you know? man. <laughs> you don't your put your fucking were mouth high, in Yeah, yeah. And then I remember I got into a big ass fight with her on the road. I don't even know why. Then I, started mm. I just let him. I just let him talk, you know. Yeah. Then I, I started crying on the road. I don't know why. Then I just. I do, but I don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> then I just knocked out. <laughs> I don't know what happened. That's my story with it. And I asked you, so, babe, do you want me to take so you to the ER? No, so say no to drugs. I don't know. Say no to drugs. I don't know. I'm like, I'll take I'm you to the done. ER, babe. See. Ya. Yeah, yeah, cameo, <laughs> cameo. Yeah. No, the, the the edibles are tough. The edibles, yeah. uh, they go straight to your liver, and it becomes a little bit more yeah, of my a. My liver's a little stressed. <laughs> <laughs> it becomes a little bit more of a, a hallucinogenic instead of a, like when you smoke it. So you start hallucinating, you start fucking thinking shit, and it gets a little crazy in there. I know because uh, I've been doing uh, THC pills lately. I, I've been off the smoke, and I do some pills, and it takes me to a different place, a, a very good place, but a different place. 
Well, I don't like going to places. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I want to stay here. I want to stay, stay here. here. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to leave tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I would have been like, bueno, baby, cada quien sus. Cada quien hace lo que puede cuando está en ese. Under the influence. Mm-hmm. Well, I know. Uh, I know Jesse's not here right now, but we're gonna we're gonna keep uh, keep it moving as far as uh, um, the part where we, we're going now with uh, the pandemic part. And, and there's so many years. So you know, para la gente que está viendo y escuchando, obviously, you know, we're nowhere near gonna get your whole trayectoria as an artist. You know, your whole trayectoria with horoscopes and now what you got going on now. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's kind of like a, we're skimming through it, and then um, y es más como como puedes ver una plática that hopefully you know in the future we can do like a part two you know and and, yeah. and maybe we can sit down with you and and even your dad or or, or Vicky or whomever oh. or, or just you you and you and the chuga look at those eyes maybe not yeah este but yeah uh, going back to the to the whole pandemic part and then I understand. Uh, Congrats to Vicky. She just became a mom. Yeah, so her first baby. Yeah. Shout out to first Vicky, baby. Yeah. yeah. Um, and now, technically, you know, salió todo lo que initially when when Jesse started with the whole la prensa y salió que no more horoscopos y esto lo otro. Um, where can we where can we start off with that as far as that topic? Like, um, can you exactly explain exactly what happened, when it happened, what do you think happened? Maybe you don't really know. Tómale, tómale. <laughs> este... Exactly what, you know, where where would you want to start? I mean, or, or what you would want to say about that? You know what? When Vicky had her baby, she's like, you know what? I'm going to take off. And I'm like, I don't fucking take off. I didn't have a baby. So right. I, I, I'm, being, you know, I'm being honest, you know, I don't, I don't fucking take off. And I'm like, you know what? It took me a while to think, okay, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm bored. I already had the pandemic. I don't want to stop playing. You know, we've been playing for a year since the pandemic started, you know, and I don't want to stop. And I don't want to lose my musicians, too, because I had good musicians. So then I'm like, you know what, fuck it, let me do this. And then Lechuga's like, you know, you can do this, baby, you can do this, you're badass. And I'm like, I'm badass, I'm badass. So then I started practicing, and I started, you know, I did my first weekend with Alacranes. I okay. did, so then that helped me because Alacranes que me llevo super bien con ellos, you know, all of them. You know, um, we've known each, each other since we're kids. Bef- you know, and the parents, somos del mismo rancho, se conocen desde niños también. So we've known each other always. So they're like, you know what, no, pues te traemos de gira. So they did. So my first weekend was horrendous. I barfed the first day. Second day, I barfed again. Third day, I think I had all kinds of body fluids coming up from everywhere. The and nervios? I was so stressed out. Okay. You know, because you come up, you know, and then people are like, you say, Orozco pues Durango, and then you see just me, and it's like, where's the other one? You know, fucking one. You know, some, some people are cool, and some people are like, well, we don't like this shit. And some people are rude, some people are nice. But then, you know, the stress of singing the songs, like how Vicky did it, you know, and it's really uh-huh. stressful, you know, and, and then play, I was playing, singing, um, talking, and trying to dance, because I'm everybody, I, if you guys Doing know, my, I don't yeah. dance. Very good. <laughs> it looks like if I have to pee, you know, really. <laughs> I'm dancing. So it was a lot, of, you know, it's a lot of work. So, and then, Pasaron cinco meses and I'm like, God damn, I fucking like this shit. I'm, I'm doing a good, I think I'm doing a good job. Now I'm singing either songs that, songs that we didn't even sing with horoscopos, like dirty songs, you know, like songs. <laughs> yeah, songs que le gusta la gente cantar, you know, like, you know, when están pedos. And then, and I'm like, oh, I like this shit. And I started even playing guapangos and accordion. And then I'm like, yeah. So then, anyway, so then me llegó una oferta muy, you know, a really nice oferta. And I'm like, you know what? Okay, I'm fucking old. Am I going to wait till I'm like 100, you know, for something like this to happen? I think that if you don't do it in the opportunity, get the llega, you know, maybe it won't happen again. And um, my rep right now is Representante Julian Alvarez, and it's in the same oficina as Alfredo Olivas. Nice. Regulo okay. Caro. Nice. Renovación. Um, he's también the... Um, que hace toda la prensa de Pancho Barraza. So it's all those people, but he's... The middle one is Julian. So then... I don't want to salarlo, but this is kind of an itch. My first tocada is going to be with Julian in Mexico, and I'm starting in Mexico. Oh. So, oh. But I'm really fucking terrified because, you know, it's I don't have my same band, and I'm not too sure how it's going to work. And people still... So I had a nightmare. Let me tell you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have this, this thing going on, but, but then before my nightmare was the, the, you know, the school bell goes on, and you're not ready, and you're not... Dr- me, it was I'm not dressed to go play on stage, but it was a school bell sound. So then I... Now it's al revés. Now it's like... I'm singing on stage, on a big stage. I don't even know where the fuck I'm at. 
because it's like a dream. Like it's very, it's it only happened to me once and people start screaming Vicky and I'm like crying and shit. And I woke up and I'm like, <laughs> this is really bad. They don't so love me. It's really, yeah. it's really scary, yeah. you know? Yeah. Cause people expect for you to be like Siamese's twins, you know, and shit doesn't yeah. happen like that. So that's how it happened. Hmm. I don't know if that made sense. That was like, yeah, no, no, mm-hmm. it makes sense. It's just more of like, are you scared of el, el cuadro terrified. que tienes? El, el yeah. cuadro? Like you, I, what point you, I don't even know what cuadro I have. I don't <laughs> think I have a cuadro yet. Wow. But, yeah. I mean, going back to so many fucking years of experience, like, not the, you don't have that confidence? No, because it's really different. You know, well, I always had that now. apoyo, you yeah. know, and yeah. it's apoyo of like, I looked at Vicky and I knew when she was going to breathe or talk and she looked at me and it was okay. vice versa and I looked at the musicians that we had and you knew and they knew and everybody knew what the fuck to do and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Well, now. I was going to say, like you had your other half, like you knew yeah. her and you yeah. knew the rhythm and everything yeah. and you know I what saw, to do. And- I saw that, uh, I saw that in the video that I saw with Energia Norteña, like when you guys sang with them. It was well, a, Maquinaria. Uh, Maquinaria, sorry. Yeah. I thought it was it, Energia. Oh, and it's because we didn't practice that song. It was just like, there and that's it, you know. And no, it's but like, I saw you guys just look at each other, and, and we knew like, who you knew. And yeah. You're like, Holy yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah, and just you just fucking knew, you know. And it's yeah. you know, and, and it's cool, and it's always been like that, always. And now I don't know. And anymore, then I know so this is weird. very fresh, but I mean, how are you coping with the nanoroscopos era anymore? I mean, is, how difficult is it, or how? Um, I mean, I, I know it's super fresh, but I mean, is it is it something that you're I know you're barely going to start, but how are you coping with it? You know what? Really fucking difficult. The other day, Eden Munoz is doing a song for me, right? Okay. So then he's, I'm going to see him Casi this nada. weekend. <laughs> Casi nada. And I, I don't want to sound like presumir or anything, but just that's what's happening, you yeah, know? And yeah, then yeah. I saw him, because Chicuela me vio ven con Blanca Martinez, you know? And I saw him, que está haciendo una entrevista. And he said, you know, that he had to go to psychologist. And God fucking... Damn, it's so difficult when you've been doing something for so many fucking years and it's your other half and your other, you know, um, I don't know how to say it. There's, there has to be like this word of, fuck, volteas and if you can't say anything, she'll know what to say. And if yeah. they voltea a ti and it, mm-hmm. fuck, I'll, you know, boom, 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 you know, it was like that. Right. Yeah. And it's like, it, I, a mí me ha dado depresión. I've had like anxiety, you know. I'm, I'm really fucking stressed out. Yeah. And I've even lost like, a shit little weight, which is good for TV. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but uh, it's like, I'm so fucking stressed out and I'm driving lechuga crazy too and lechuga's like, you could do this, but I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm, I'm so not, I don't know how to do it without her, you know? It's... Lo yeah. bueno es bueno que está pelón, so there's no more hair falling out, so you can still drive <laughs> them crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's been so bad, you know, and, it's, and I'm used to her and... and yeah. And not, but everybody has their own path, you know. So then I, okay, so I saw him doing an interview and I texted him and I'm like, no mames, me identifique con todo lo que dijiste. So, you know, it's, I saw him doing the interview saying that he had to, you know, get help and I think I need fucking help. I was going to ask <laughs> you, do you, do you do like a, the whole therapy or nothing like no, that? No, I yet? haven't thought about it, but when I saw him and I'm like, I thought I was going crazy, you know, because I'm like, right. depressed, me la paso yori yori, and I'm not a person that cries at all. Now I see a dog like really sad walking on the street, and I'm like, <laughs> crazy. I think that's part. Of, I think that's part of the the fourth floor, man. Now I'll see a yeah. fucking. Yeah. Now I watch a commercial. I'm like, ah oh, shit, Affleck, fuck you. <laughs> Is it, okay, so you guys have Andrew pause and I have Perry pause because I'm not menopausing yet. But God, I don't know. You know, I've never been an emotional person. I've been always very strong. I'm telling you, I think my dad like created men right, in right. a woman body, and it's like now I see everything, and I'm like. <laughs> It doesn't even matter what the fuck it is. And I just start crying. You know, I see like a homeless person on the corner, like really sad, but he's drunk and I'm like, he needs more liquor. I swear (laughs) to God, I think dumb shit like that. It's really scary. But yes, I, it's, it's very scary and I'm, and I'm very scared and you know, but there is people that support me and, and there's some people that are, I've never had bullying in my whole fucking life. Like I've had right now. Bullying? On social media, it's Holy horrendous. Shit. Are you so, a commenter reader? Like you go through all your comments. And I have somebody that's doing it right now. Okay, 
but <laughs> but that's okay, not, so then since not, I have a lot of time healthy. My, it's no, not no healthy, it's yeah. not healthy at all. And I have a lot of time in my hand right now, so oh, the time's in my hand. Worse. So then I'm like, you motherfucker, fuck you, fuck <laughs> you. And I'm like, fuck you. And then I put like a uh, berenjena, you know, like because there's no penises, so a big, you know, like you know, you know what, what do you call that <laughs> in Hena in English? The eggplant. Egg egg then I put like uh, a scissor, you know, or something. Do you you reply then? No, I I can't because they already told me I had to stop that shit because I did. Oh, you did reply. I was doing some dirty shit. You got caught. Wow. No, like some bad stuff because instead of reading my shit yeah, and yeah. they're like Marisol tienes que pararle porque vimos que hiciste algo muy feo and I'm like ¿qué hice? dime, dime, dime and they're like they sent me a picture and I'm like pues hice una calabaza morada <laughs> you're like oh fuck well, what was it? like, like le no really, really? La verga. no 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 Yes, I've done that. Bright Babe, the bullying has been so horrendous lately. Yeah, social it's media. It's been so bad, you know, like, como se te ocurre Vicky la que canta mejor que tú. I fucking know, oh, dick. I know that. Wow. She sings better. Oh, I know, yeah. but also the people that sing ugly, there's a lot of bad singers. They're the ones that get famous, so I'm going to get famous. Sorry, but I, I, I might have to contradict that. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. And not just because you're here, but I think you're the better singer. Oh yeah. So oh, uh, and again, you know, I'm not saying, you know, he's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Where can we buy him? Yeah. No, 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 no. Honestly, I, I think, but he's a keeper. Pero me voy a echar en, en... No, there's people like it's que ella canta mejor, and I'm like, I fucking know, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so then, and I t- it's because they're asking me how am I coping, and I'm like, I'm fucking depressed and crying all the time. It's fucking yeah. horrendous. It's I feel bad for Le- I feel more f- bad for Lechuga than anybody else. <laughs> Well, props to Lechuga. Lechuga yeah, is, uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he, now he's your backbone. And, you know, before he, it was... He's always been my yeah, backbone. Yeah. He's always been my backbone. He's even an amazing grandfather. Well, there I don't you know. If you guys have to see the video. Do you guys follow me on Instagram? You guys don't fucking follow me. I do. <laughs> no, no, I do. I don't think just, just <laughs> you. Wait, you wait. See? My, sis, my, my, daughter, my sister, my daughter's like, Mom, since Julian and Alfredo and all of them regular, how come they don't follow you? I don't fucking know. <laughs> you follow them. And I'm like, well, well, they followed me, you know, but they don't follow me. And I'm like, so you Start have to see like <laughs> <laughs> those so, fuckers shit, fuckers so then Lechuga's like you know like nos ponemos like he takes his time like to be with our you know four year old grandson that's such a handful and you have to see the fucking video that we're, he's playing the drums I'm playing the accordion he's playing the congas and then the the the, 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 the maracas no 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 not, not, not that but and yeah it's difficult shit and then um, <laughs> I might be getting ahead of myself with this no, question, no, 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 but yeah. do you, do you think in your heart that the I don't horoscope, have a heart lately? <laughs> the horoscope well, era is is done. I mean, I, if you have to take a, a wild guess, I guess you could say. Or why wasn't Vicky replaced? Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah. Oh no, Vicky's Vicky's. Vicky. I mean, you can't replace yeah, Vicky. I'm the one that left, though. Okay. It's because I left. El Wattpad. Este episodio está patrocinado por nuestros compas de Casa Humilde Cervecería, cerveza artesanal, elaborada aquí en Chicago, with a variety of 10 different styles to choose from. Casa Humilde is located at the District Brew Yards, 417 North Ashland in Chicago. Follow them on IG and like them on Facebook at Casa Humilde Cervecería. To check availability near you, go to www.casahumildechicago.com and check out the store locator. You could also pick up some chelas at the District Brew Yards. Casa Humilde Cervecería. Stay humilde. Este episodio está patrocinado por Tequila Tres Generaciones. At Tres Generaciones, we honor those driven to create something greater than themselves, those who have what it takes to leave a legacy. It's a tequila for the strivers, the hustlers, the champions of free will who create their destiny and don't await it. El proceso es único. It begins with fresh pressing agave, extrayendo el jugo antes que lo cocinen, resulting in reduced bitterness and a crisp agave forward flavor. Todo el tequila is triple distilled. Using 100% Blue Weber Agaves. Con el tequila blanco, con el tequila reposado, it's certified organic. Aquí en el Wattpad, cuando hacemos un brindis, it has to be tequila tres generaciones. Celebrate responsibly. 40% alcohol by volume. Copyright 2021 Salsa Tequila Import Company. Chicago, Illinois. This Wattpad episode is brought to you by Borja's Law Group. El abogado Borjas contestará todas tus preguntas, explicará el proceso específico de inmigración que aplica en su caso, 
el tiempo que se toma procesar su caso y los costos asociados con las tarifas de inmigración y los honorarios legales. Llama al 312-788-2783 para programar tu cita. Y ahí de pasada, menciona el WACPAR para que te den tu consulta gratis. This episode is brought to you by Taquerías a Totonilco. Con más de 40 años de experiencia, hoy por hoy de los mejores tacos al pastor en todo Chicago y suburbios. Al igual con los tacos de asada, ni más ni menos. Sus famosas tortas y para terminar con ganas, un rico licuado. Les encargamos sus tres locales, 3916 al oeste de la 26 en Chicago, 500 East Cass Street en Joliet y 1631 al norte de la Mannheim Road en Stone Park. Para más información, visite www.taqueriasatotonilco.com. This episode is brought to you by Rancho Los Guzman. Hands down, one of the most beautiful rancho-style venues there is in the Chicagoland area. They offer all the necessary services so that your next event is unforgettable. From weddings, quinceañeras, VIP private events, and holiday corporate events. Relax and enjoy while they take care of every single detail. Book your next event at Rancho Los Guzman, 2225 Maple Road in Joliet. For more information, call 815-200-4713 or check out their website at rancholosguzman.com.